Hello everyone, my name is Anish Rana and today my topic is service and networking. In this topic, we have six parts, but I believe that we will get the answer only with these two parts. So let's start with the very first one that is understand cluster IP and node IP address. Here is the question. Reconfiguring the existing deployment frontend and deploy and exposing port number 80 CP of the nginx container create a new service name frontend and expose to port number http http port is 80 right and after that we need to expose this service newly created service to port via node port service it means that we need to create node port service so let's understand first this is my cluster and after that we need to create a node port service right so this is my node port expose a service externally to the cluster by mean of target node ip address and node port and after that we have service that we are exposing to 8080 right and these are our ports that are exposed to 80 let's take an example that we created the nginx web portal inside these ports now this is my client it requests to the node port and then node port redirect this to service 8080 it is a node port service right and this service will redirect to port that is port number 8080 now sometimes people get confused that what is port and target port whenever we are talking about service port it is only port so port expose the kubernetes services on the specific port number within the cluster and when we talk about container port it means target port this is what written here target port is a port on which the service will send request to that your port will listening on in future if you have you know different port number then you need to modify this inside the container so i believe that now it is clear that what is port and what is target port and why we are using node port node port is a service let's go back to our question in question it is says that it is existing deployment for that reason i just execute kubectl get deployment and then deployment name if in exam if this question comes with some namespace then you need to define minus n namespace name here right after that we need to expose this service and also create a service for that reason we just Need to execute single command that is kubectl expose and this is my deployment name hyphen hyphen name and name of the service this time we are going to create the service and also exposing this service to this deployment after that hyphen hyphen port number 80 that is my service port number and hyphen hyphen target port equal to 80 this is what it is asked in the question exposing port number 80 with tcp for that reason i just use hyphen hyphen protocol tcp of the nginx container right after that create a new service and this is we in the question it is asked to expose this service to node port thus i use hyphen hyphen type equal to node port once i execute this command i can check the service kubectl get service front end svc hyphen where this is what i created here now one can observe that the name of the service is here and the type is node port and this is my cluster IP address and the port number is 80 here. Now the question is completed here but in exam it would be good that we can do the post checks. How we can do the post checks with the help of curl command. If this command is not there it's okay but if the command is there you can execute this command curl http and whatever the cluster IP address just put over here colon 80 pipe head if you wish you can use this pipe head otherwise it's okay you should see the result like this document type html blah 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 something you will observe here if this is the case then congratulations you have completed the first question successfully from this topic let's move to second topic that is know how to use ingress controller and ingress resources having a weightage of seven i believe that this type of question you will observe in the exam create a new network policy named this in the existing namespace 
bar. Ensure that new network policy allow port in namespace internal to connect to port number 9000 of port in namespace foo bar. Question is pretty much easy. As of now, we know that we can apply network policies on three things IP block, ports, and namespace. Namespace means namespace selector. In question, it is asked us to allow the port traffic from the other namespace. It means that in our network policy YAML file or manifest file, we have to use namespace selector. I have already uploaded one video for network policies. If you, your fundas are not very much clear, then I must urge you to watch my video where I have defined that, you know, what's the difference between IP block, port and namespace. It would be benefit for you. Okay, so let's move to here. So this is the namespace that we are going to use. And the second hurdle is that does not allow access to port which doesn't listen on port 9000. It means that in this task, it is asked us to allow traffic only on port number 9000. That's it. The second hurdle is does not allow access from port which are not in namespace internal. In this task, they are demanding only allow ports which are running on namespace internal. That's it. Let's move forward. We understand that what we need to do. But before that, let's take an example of how we can create network policy. The very first one is ports where on which port or ports rule to be applied. Thanks to label selectors, we can use label selector and that port will be attached to this network policy. The second thing is direction. Here we have two direction ingress and egress. Ingress means incoming traffic. In means incoming and egress means external traffic. E stands for external traffic. You can remember like this way. After that rule, what rule we need to apply for ingress who can connect to this port and where this port can send the traffic. If you go to the question, it is asked us to connect to this port. It means that we need to create only ingress. That's it. So let's move ahead. First, I created the namespace only for your reference purpose, but in an exam, this internal namespace is already there. This is the reason they have asked you to allow the port traffic to internal from QBAR. And if we execute this command kubectl get namespace internal hyphen hyphen show label, we get to know that the namespace label is this. This is what we will be going to use in the manifest file of our network policy. Now, this is the specs that we can use. Port selector is blank. Why? Let's take an example that in Fuba namespace, we have multiple ports and with different labels. In question, it is not defined that which label we need to apply the policy. For that reason, it means that they are asking us for all the ports which are running inside this fever. For that reason, I just put it here blank. When we put this in blank, it means that it will be applicable to all ports of this namespace. The policy type is ingress and from ingress from namespace selector and match label. So this is my label of internal namespace. This is what I written here. It is a key and it's a value here and ports protocol equal to TCP 9000. That's it. Let's take an example here. This is my internal and we have two different port. One port is 9000. The other port is working on 8000 port number. But in exam, it is asked us only for 9000 ports. So for that reason, I added here port protocol TCP and port number is 9000. If you not add this, it means that it will allow the traffic, this FUBA or all the ports will get the traffic from port both port, but in exam, it asked us only for 9000. Hence, this is my configuration file for namespace selector. And this is the label that we selected from the internal. And this is the port number that we use. And it allow only for 9000. That's it. You just need to open the Kubernetes.web page that is allowed here. Click on documentation. 
in the left hand side just write network policy and then name space selector and hit enter now open the first link that is kubernetes.io doc page if you scroll down or maybe you can do control f and it will open the search bar here just write namespace selector selector just copy this or maybe you can copy like this here open the notepad or maybe you can do vi editor and then port selector must be one space and then define here and remove these labels because we are going to apply on all the ports egress we don't need egress because in question it is asked us to it means incoming traffic ip block we don't require so we can remove here just update this name port selector we don't require port that we use here is 9000 egress we don't require so just remove egress here here we need to define the few bar and name of the policy that it is asked in the question i'm just paste the question here so that we can understand here that this is my policy name just find it here like this one so it does not allow port which doesn't listen on 9000 when we type here 9000 it means that it will allow only 9000 ports only does not allow access from port which are not in namespace internal for that reason we just added here internal enter that's it it should allow only the in a basic you know, layman language we can say that this line is says that just allow only internal namespace port and in the first line it says that only allow 9000 port that's it for that reason i just added these two once you apply let's go to our ppt so now let's back to our question that is i just created this network policy manifest file as you can see here that the name of this network policy is his and it is inside this name space few bar it is for ingress because it is access to port it does not allow access to port it doesn't listen on 9000 so for that reason i just added here port is 9000 and the namespace selector is this one internal and where i get this value i have already shown you in my previous slide that's it you just need to apply this manifest file like this way or maybe you can remove this data because data directory is not created you can remove this data and just apply this manifest file that's it this question is completed okay so let's move here after that configure and use core dns but core dns is already in running condition so i don't think so that you will get some question from here and appropriate container network interface plugin again it will be not no question will be coming from this topic that's it from my side and if you like this video and and if you like my way of style please like and subscribe to my channel i'm in new in this youtube thank you very much bye bye